Entrepreneurship is the ability of creating a solution to a problem by leveraging a team to execute it. And if you do this right, the business should run without you. That you don't have to be the ones always pushing the buttons. You allow your business to enjoy your life while your team handles the day to day. I'm reminded of this book called The E Myth, written by Michael Gerber. And he talks about the three different uh, people that show up to a company one's the entrepreneur, one's the technician, one's the manager. And when they get to the office, they're always having an argument. Every day they're having an argument. The manager doesn't want to be, be, uh, uh, be in a position where he's got, he's got to wrestle in the, uh, the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur wants to see the vision. He's the pioneer. He wants to disrupt. He wants to dominate, right? But he's, being ups- he's upset because he feels he's being controlled by the manager. And then technicians say, listen, man, I'm about R&D. I'm about to research this product. I'm about to develop this product. I'm about to innovate this product. I'm about to disrupt the industry. But you're giving me no re- resource. You're not giving me a budget. You want to manage me until I can't innovate. So they're arguing all day with one another because everybody has their own desire to advance their department. The technician wants to advance. The manager wants to advance. The entrepreneur wants to advance. Here's the challenge, though. All these three people that show up to the office, guess what? They're the same person. It's the entrepreneur that's trying to manage his company, is trying to manage the sales force. It's the manager that's trying to manage the technician, is trying to deal with this entrepreneur. It's the same person. This entrepreneur was a great insurance agent. This entrepreneur was a great chef. Now they're trying to run a restaurant. And this great executive chef realizes there's more to running a restaurant than creating a great plate of food. And he wants to grow and expand, or he may not know how to grow and expand outside of him cooking a great plate of food. And the manager's frustrated because they can't get the right staff because there's not enough revenue coming to the business. All these three people are fighting. And what's, what's the point? If you read the book, The e the point is that most business owners work in their business than on their business. You cannot see the picture where you're inside the frame. Here's why. As you're starting off your, your business as an entrepreneur or you're scaling to the next level, Many entrepreneurs don't want to relinquish control. Have you heard that statement? If you want to do it right, do it yourself. Eh, that's how broke people think. That's how small business people think. That's how small thinkers think. Well, that means I gotta, if I want to do it right, I gotta mow my own lawn. I gotta change my own. No, I gotta do I gotta do everything. No, you're supposed to grow the business. You're supposed to grow and increase your capacity. You're supposed to expand your bandwidth. You can't do that by dealing with mowing the lawn, by changing your own oil, by dropping off your dry clean, by doing the laundry and, and folding your clothes. You can't do that. You need to be an entrepreneur to do what? To create jobs so therefore you can hire people that do that for you. And if you're looking at working on the business, people who are exceptionally good in business are so because of the insatiable need to know more. That's how it was when I was in insurance business. I want to know more about the annuities. I want to know more about IULs. I want to know more about infinite banking. I want to know about et cetera, et cetera, right? And I couldn't just relinquish control to anybody else. I need to go out there and do all the appointments and all the illustration proposals. Couldn't relinquish that to a junior advisor. Couldn't delegate that to a team member. That would grow and mentor and coach and build up. I couldn't do that because I need it done now. And I'm the best one to do it. The other part about the book, The E-Myth, is that sometimes entrepreneurs is understanding the technical work of a business does not mean you understand a business that does the technical work. It's right there from the book. And when you're looking at the business, growing a business has less to do with the technicalities of the business. I talk to insurance agents all the time. They get hung up on one thing, selling the right insurance policy, selling the right insurance policy, selling the right insurance policy. But they don't understand how to grow a business. And they think they know how to grow a business. Great insurance agent, though. Phenomenal insurance agent. But they don't know how to grow a business. Worse, they don't know how to delegate and inspire and encourage and develop other people. And they think that just because they got a great PowerPoint, they got a great sales, they got a great lead system, that's sales management. Yeah, that's sales management. That's not sales leadership. When you want to invest in people and get them to grow and see more in them than they see in themselves, and what is leadership? You know, J- John Maxwell says leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Those are his words. I'll add, to, I'll, add, I'll add on to my own definition. I believe leadership is helping people do things they would otherwise not have done themselves if left to their own devices. So my job as a leader is to get people to get out of their comfort zone, to get people to see their life by having a 360 view on what they're doing, to see themselves in the movie. It's my job as a sales leader. And are you the one yelling at yourself? If you're watching your own movie, are you yelling at yourself and throwing popcorn at the screen? So that's what my job is as a sales leader, 
to get people to the next level. Go, go.